are some of those ways that you could supercharge your cues? And we want to really do this around improving visibility. So how can I understand what the important tickets are? How can I figure out um, which users should be able to see things? So if I just back up for a second, uh, we're gonna be looking at those cues and say, oh, well, what are the visual elements I could use? Who or how can I make my transitions easier to navigate? And then also with transitions, can I expose any of them onto my portal so my customers could use them and then not raise any tickets or not have to call up IT. And so over here, um, what we're doing is we've made a couple of cues with a little bit more visual stimulus. So these little emoticons or Unicode, they call it, are just there to help section off exactly what uh, our cues are for. Our cues have a specific purpose, like the waiting on me one. I might have a cue where these are all the ones where my customers have gotten back to me and left a comment. So these are the ones I have to action. Along with cues, make sure that they're ordered in a way that makes sense. Not all tickets need to be resolved at the same time they were created. So ordering by time to resolution, for example, is a really good thing you could do. If you're on an older version of Jira Service Desk, you might have to do it in the back end here. You can't change it through clicking on the columns. Uh, if we open up a ticket, now what you're going to see over here is our transitions. They're slightly different from what you might see or have seen before. So we've exposed more than three transitions. We have quite a few. Here's six. Uh, there's also the taking into account little Unicode or the little emojis in front or in behind them to help a new service desk agent or even some existing ones easily identify what the transitions do. And then we've, uh, we've ordered them in a particular way so that um, you know, resolve and close, for example, are right at the end. It kind of makes sense. That's where they are in our workflow. And so just to recap for these ones, we, what we've done is we've improved the visibility by using this little Unicode um, icons. And you could just kind of Google Unicode and copy and paste them in if you wanted to. Uh, we've added some colors to the transitions to make sure that you could easily differentiate them and then see what they do. And also uh, we've exposed quite a bit more transitions to our view and ordered them in a particular way. And that's just done through a Jira backend setting. So anyone would be able to do that one if you're an admin. Now, how do these transitions work um, for our customer experience? Well, we could share some of them onto the portal so then they can feel heard. Uh, we could allow them to, or our users to cancel or close requests without having the need to reach out to the service desk. We could allow them to escalate issues without having to call the service desk. So let's take a look at what that might look like. And over here we have Mitch Davis, who's gone in and he could close, cancel, or escalate his tickets over here. So you know what? This is no longer required. He's fixed it himself. He might want to close it. Or, hey, um, I don't need this anymore. Uh, actually, this was a mistake to raise this issue. I'm going to cancel this request. And the other option is escalate. This is really urgent. I need this. I need someone to look at it. And so, you know, he could have called, but this is just another way that he could escalate an issue. And you can see right away, we've got them back and said, Jira Automation Bot, uh, we have escalated this issue with the assignee and the service desk manager. And so they're going to be in touch with you shortly. If we were to take a look now as to what this would actually do on our agent view, we can see over here the ticket originally has a low urgency, a priority four is not that high. We have you know, 26 minutes to complete this request. And um, I'm going to refresh the page and see what that clicking of the escalate button has done. All right, so that ticket now is showing up in our escalated queue. And if we open it up, our urgency has automatically changed to high because our urgency versus impact priority matrix I said the uh, high urgency minor impact is a P2. Uh, it's uh, updated that, our SLA has changed. And you can see right there at the bottom, the uh, message to our assignee. So over here, the Ad Adam is the assignee, the service delivery manager. And it's mentioned them and said, hey, this issue has been flagged for escalation. Please review. So all these little features and functionalities that you can do to help your service desk work on the important issues and not always have to answer calls.